Max, does gifted education in China differ much from how we teach here in America, and if so, in what ways? The, uh, I'll tell you, uh, traveling to China this time was truly a, a sobering experience uh, because I saw how much it does differ in the way that the ministry and the municipal government support the development of their, their gifted and talented students. And um, we, uh, if we want to compete, if we want to collaborate, we're going to have to do something really different here in, in Illinois and in America. Uh, we had the opportunity to visit um, three different schools. Uh, two schools are run by the uh, Ministry of Education. The ministry actually funds a handful of schools. One is our sister school, RDFZ, I've been our partner school for two years. Uh, another was a school in Shanghai, uh, school number two associated with East China Normal University. The other was a municipal school, Beijing uh, 166. In all three schools, the amount of resources that they are putting behind talent development is um, almost frightening. Uh, on one hand, it's inspiring to see uh, what a government can do when they put their mind to developing the talent of young people in terms of developing labs in a matter of months. Um, the school in Shanghai had a brand new electron microscope. We actually had to turn down the offer of a used electron microscope from Northwestern University for $30,000 because there's no, no funding for it. Uh, in, in the time RDFZ teachers, uh, that's the, the, the school for the gifted and talented in Beijing, visited IMSA in August to when we visited them in January, they built four new high-tech laboratories. The Beijing Middle School 166, ha again, has these incredible scientific uh, facilities. The school in Shanghai, however, w was truly magnificent. Uh, they have what they call an innovation lab. Uh, they have inquiry and innovation classes. Um, I think our assumption that uh, all the Chinese classes are just involved in rope memorization is a sad and serious mistake on the part of Americans.